Welcome back to Hotham's Apiary. I'm Jason Hotham. And in this video, we're going to inspect the hives again. It's been a week since my last inspection. The weather has been nice, it's been warm, and hopefully the bees have increased their numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my protective gear, get my smoker going, and I'll be right back. Keep watching. So I am ready to go. Let me just get my other glove on here. I've already had a peek under the cover of this particular colony and they have increased quite a bit in their numbers. I'm going to head, take the cover off and let me see if I can give you a better view of what I normally see when I open up the cover. I'm not sure of how well that's going to come out on the video, but basically there's just bees all over here. So it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit of smoke here to get them open. <laughs> Some people use grass for creating the smoke. Some use damp hay. Um, I use egg cartons. Works pretty good. Makes a lot of smoke. So as usual, I'm going to take out one of the outside frames. Not much going on there. So these are still some food reserves that are on the outside of the brood nest. This is the third frame of the hive from the left side. And I suspect that the next frame that I take out, which will be the fourth frame, will have some brood on it. I could be wrong. There's a lot of capped brood on this side. All that dark brown there is capped brood on this side as well. Fresh eggs on this side. The brood nest is, or at least the beginning of the brood nest is where I had hoped it would be. As I said, that's the fourth frame. This box will hold 10 frames. I've may have, I've may have mentioned that before. These boxes hold 10 frames. So that gives you a general idea of where the brood nest is. So let's take out this fifth frame. I still have not seen any drones yet, which I wouldn't expect to see at this time of the year anyhow. It still will be a few weeks before the bees begin raising drones. So there's the queen. Let's see if we can get a little close up on the queen here. Uh, yep, there she is, right there. Uh, do you see her? I'm not sure if you all could see her. I think she's crawling around right there. Oh, there she is down there. There she is. The queen has a much larger thorax. And it sometimes looks like she has a plate of armor on her back. She is really moving along that frame though. She's right there where my fingertip is. Oh, I've just had some technical difficulties. My camera decided to fall into the hive. Whatever. I need to get a tripod for this, you know. I'm not, I'm not really up to speed here. All right, let's continue with the inspection. This hive is, or this colony is really producing a lot of bees right now. This is really great news. This colony will be the colony that I use to split later on in a few weeks. Look at all those bees, huh? Looking nice. There's also some capped brood there on the uh, outside of this frame. It's a little bit less, the space or the amount is a little bit less than the last two frames. So it 
basically telling me this is going to be the end of the brood nest. There could be one more frame with some brood on it, which would be, let me see, this will be frame number, number eight. There's no brood on this side, and there's also none on this side. So, yes, the brood nest ended where I thought it had ended. So, this is looking really good. I'm happy with this hive. I'm going to close it up. The queen is doing what she's supposed to do. All right, and then I'll put this one back in. I do not have to worry about food stores anymore. The weather is great. The bees will definitely find enough food. Go ahead and close up this hive and move on to the next colony. Guys, this smoker is, this thing is working full bore today. <laughs> I'm about smoking myself out here. All right, so let's move on to the next colony. This was my weaker colony, as I called it last time. Let's see if the, uh, the queen has done anything to redeem herself in that respect. There's a lot less bees in here. The other hive, the other colony is, in comparison, um, I'd say they have maybe up to three times as many bees. So shake off a few bees off the plastic. Go ahead and uh, give them a little bit more smoke, calm them down. And then we'll go ahead and take a look here, what we got. So this time I'm gonna start on this side of the hive. It doesn't really matter which hot side you start on. Just go slow and deliberate. This is a food frame. Plenty of food on here still. This frame is completely empty. Eh, almost. There's some pollen on this side. So, let's see here. Once again, there's lots of food on this side. On this side, we have, again, food. Pollen. Honey from last year. Should slowly be getting closer to the brood nest now. I have some bees here that are kind of moving around on the frame, on the top of the frame. Once again, no brood on this side. There are lots of eggs here. We're exactly right where these bees are kind of congregating. There are a lot of fresh eggs. So the queen was here maybe this morning, perhaps yesterday. So she's also expanding her nest. Not a whole lot of bees in comparison to the uh, other, other colony, as you can see. So we have a little bit more bee activity here. Uh, there's the queen, right there. There she is. And there's a bee with some pollen on its legs, bringing pollen to the, to the hive. Very small brood nest, very small spacing, but she has laid eggs. She has basically laid eggs all in this area here. So all this area that is open has eggs in it. So she's starting to expand her brood nest more towards the center of this frame. Similar situation on the back side of this frame. However, it's not as far down to the middle. It's about, it's about to here, to this line here. She is doing her best. Hopefully, with this nice weather, the bees will become more active. They will bring in more, more nectar, more pollen. Uh, I have to go gentle here because there's lots of bees crawling on the edges. Yeah, this is pollen. This is mainly pollen, and I'm trying to see now if I see any eggs on this side. I do see some eggs. Again, she's expanding outwards. There's eggs in this area here. 
So this is a frame that is on the outside of the brood nest and on the back side is still a lot of food from last year. So I'll close up this hive. They're doing, they're doing better, they're doing better. All right, so I'm closing these ones up. My smoker has decided to stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire that up again. So light up a little bit of egg carton here. And drop that into the smoker. Try not to catch on fire myself. <laughs> and we got ourselves some smoke. Wow, it's pretty dusty in here. So one of my friends uh, has shown great interest in my videos and I promised him that I'd give him a shout out in the next video. So Jamie, if you're watching this, I hope you are enjoying so far. Um, I enjoy sharing this information with everyone. Hopefully some of you may actually decide to keep your own bees someday. Now the bees in this particular hive are not at the top of the frames like the other colony on the other side. Um, doesn't really necessarily have to mean anything, but I just can't see by looking at the, the cover or looking at the plastic, I just can't see what the numbers are. So I'll have to open them up and really get a closer look. Let's dive in. smoke or somewhere else seems like you guys are getting smoked out too all right so let's start frame number one numero uno it is heavy that means there's food in there yeah this thing is packed with food crazy if at the end of the season or towards the end of the season when I start harvesting honey if I have 10 of those frames packed with that much food on it. One, that's going to be a very, very heavy box. And two, lots of honey. Lots of honey. These frames can hold up to, on average, two kilograms of honey. So that's around five pounds for my American friends watching. Lots of food here, lots and lots and lots of food. Hmm. Yeah, they're just clearing, they're clearing out these, uh, these food frames probably to make room for the nest. That's what they do. Ah, we have a nice nest going on here. Lots of pollen. There's some eggs. Oh wait, let me, yep, yeah, there are some eggs in there. So this is the edge of the brood nest, frame number four, on both sides. Not very large, but that'll change in a couple of weeks. I really liked the production of this, um, of this colony last year. So I would like to take advantage of those genetics and split this colony, but they don't have the numbers right now. I mean, a split I wouldn't do anyway until probably May. So they have time. But um, they are, they produce a lot of honey. 
Here we have the brood nest once again. I wonder if we can spot the queen this time. Last time we didn't have luck spotting her in this colony. Lots of fresh eggs at the bottom of that frame. Not on that side either. But I'm really, I really love seeing how she's coming along. Nothing to complain about at all. Maybe she'll be on the next frame. Lots of eggs and young larvae. Oh, there's an, actually a bee that has red pollen on its legs. That's cool. I've never seen bright red pollen. Interesting. I wonder if we can show that here. You can see that on the camera. This bee right here, I'm not sure. This might be too far away, but she has some red legs. That's crazy. I never saw that before. I've been doing this for five years, and I never saw a bee bring in red pollen. Don't see the queen. See lots of eggs. Maybe on the next frame. Probably not though. That one looks like a food frame. Just how it looks from the side here. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's a food frame. And she's not on there. All right. So the rest of these frames are food. Oops, that's not good. Don't want to do that. So, all right. I'm so curious though. I just, I want to find her. I want to find the queen. Maybe she's over here. Maybe I just overlooked her. Which is really hard to do at this time of the year to overlook the queen. She's so big. Nope. Nowhere to be found. Wait. No. Nope. False alarm. Man, she's gotta be here. There's not that many bees in here. Oh, there's a bee doing the waggle dance. That's cool. That's for another video, though, the waggle dance. It's the way the bees communicate with one another to, to indicate where they found food. And they basically try to convince the other bees to go to that same location. That's pretty cool. Huh. All right. So we didn't see the queen. it for today for this inspection <clears throat> probably take those ones out actually I'll take them on next week
So close things up. Alright, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done it, please subscribe and there will be many more videos to come. I will be talking about different things and um, you won't want to miss all that cool information. So have a great day, enjoy the weather if it's nice weather where you are, and please stay healthy and stay safe in this exceptional time with the coronavirus. I wish you all the best and until next time. Bye.